Hey everyone, Valerie here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my weeks 33 and 34 pregnancy update. Uh, so let's start with week 33. At week 33, my weight was 162.4. It's increasingly getting harder to sleep at night. Um, I'm having hip pains. Uh, my Braxton Hicks were also getting stronger in week 33, and sometimes I would feel the baby tighten up in a little ball on one side or the other in my stomach. Uh, my feet are definitely <laughs> swollen. Um, it, I noticed a couple weeks ago that it, it would be mostly at night, but now it's pretty much all the time. My feet are swollen. I'm still hot all the time. Week 33 was no exception to that. Um, I did notice that it's becoming harder to balance my body weight on one leg. Say like if I'm getting dressed, putting on pants or shorts, you have to shift your weight from one leg to the other. It's pretty hard because of the hip pain. So I find that I have to try to put on my pants or shorts or uh, stuff like that while sitting down. So that way my hips don't hurt. Um, still waking up a lot at night uh, either to roll over because my hips hurt or to get up and use the bathroom. I have my baby shower during week 33 and I'll have a baby shower vlog posted this Friday if you guys are interested in that. And I've noticed too that in week 33 my melasma or what's called pregnancy mask which I have it like on my high cheeks and the, my nose and um, up like back here. It comes like a mask, <laughs> kind of like a, I don't know, I call it like the Batman mask because the shape of it kind of has like that Batman wing look, I'm not sure. But um, it, it, I'm still having that and it's definitely more visible, um, visible enough that friends have uh, asked what is wrong with my skin <laughs> when I don't have any makeup on. Not to be rude or anything, just genuine concern, which is fine, doesn't bother me, I'm not offended or anything. But um, in week 34, my weight went up to 163 pounds. Um, I had missed a couple weeks at the gym, and I went back to the gym in week 34. I think just one day though. Um, I've been very tired. Um, most days I'm laying down or sleeping during the day in addition to getting regular sleep at night. I think a reason that I'm more tired, tired during the day, obviously besides being in the third trimester, which is when the exhaustion comes back, but because I'm not getting as much sleep as I should at night because of the constant waking up to either roll over um, or get up and use the bathroom. I've been prepping for a baby. Um, finally got everything put away for the baby that we got at the baby shower. I'll have a baby shower haul, uh, like kind of the gifts that we got um, video up the following Friday, so in uh, oh, two weeks from now. If you guys are interested in seeing that, um, definitely check that out, come back to see it. It's been hard to walk, I feel heavy. <laughs> um, the baby feels low, so I wobble. and. As soon as I'm walking for more than a few minutes at a time, my hips, my legs feel like they're going to pop out of the hip socket and it hurts. <laughs> I'm still hot all the time. My poor husband sleeps bundled up in a blanket while I sleep with hardly anything on. <laughs> and we have the AC on, the ceiling fan on high, and another fan on high rotating almost like three to five feet away from me. So it's the room he says is freezing and I'm still hot. <laughs> That's what blankets are for because it is hot and it's summertime. So being outside for five minutes sucks because it's so hot. So I'm tired all the time, resting a lot. Like I said, um, my hip pain, it's still, it's getting worse. It just, it hurts. Like, I don't feel stable when I walk or even when I'm laying down for too long. It just, it really, it just is uncomfortable. I've noticed too that um, the, the week 34, 
I've been having occasional round ligament pain, specifically either at night when I'm sleeping or when I'm laying down for a long time and then I try to get up, man, that pain shoots like around my belly from the top all the way down to like where my, my hip joint is and it hurts so bad that I pretty much just freeze in place until the pain finally goes away. It doesn't happen all the time, it doesn't happen every day, but that week I think it happened like two or three nights out of the week and that was definitely more than before where it would happen like maybe once every two or three weeks and it was very rare but man it really hurt last week. I do notice that this previous week that that um, the darkness on my skin, the melasma or pregnancy mask, it gets darker in the sun, even if I have on sunscreen, makeup with sunscreen. Yesterday I had a full face of makeup on because we went to church and then after church we had a pool party, which it was supposed to be an indoor party, but it got switched to a pool party. <laughs> so we were in the sun for a while and even though I did have on um, the sunblock and the makeup with sunblock, in it my uh, you can clearly see by the end of the day that it was darker here even through the makeup you can definitely see a difference um i don't know how to get rid of it i assume it'll go away i hope it'll go away after the baby's born obviously not like the same moment the baby's born but very quickly um it really doesn't bother me too much and especially it being summer it just kind of looks like i got a tan except when you look closely at my skin or if you're talking to me like face to face you can definitely tell that it looks like kind of looks like um, clustered freckles that have darkened in the sun and I don't have freckles so it just looks different on me because it's not how I normally look so this week is yeah the baby shower was the week 33 week 34 I have been sewing I'm not like a seamstress or a professional by any means, but I have brought out my sewing machine, um, which my husband is very happy about because he bought me a nice um, sewing machine a few years back when I told him I wanted to learn how to sew using YouTube videos, and I hardly ever use it. So he's been very happy to see me putting it to use this week. I've been making some baby things that we did not get at the baby shower, like... Um, we needed some crib, uh, not crib, uh, changing mat linen, um, fitted sheets, so I made two of those. Um, I also transformed or made, I don't know how to explain it, I used my, the bras that I bought for this pregnancy, um, I changed them from the regular bras, how I bought them at the store, into nursing bras. So like it has a snap and the front can come down to feed the baby. So I changed both of those with the snaps like that. And also I made some nursing pads from some old t-shirts that my husband was just going to throw away. They were clean, so I made them. And there, I did follow three videos using doing those three projects. So I'll post those links below if you're interested to see... Um, what I did and if you're interested in actually seeing the what I made then comment below and I don't mind sharing that maybe in the next video update regarding the pregnancy I also made a couple of um, mop pads you know that that go over my mop um, to clean the floor because we only had one so when we mop the whole floor I have to keep taking it off and rinsing it and I just don't want to deal with that. That's too much bending down. <laughs> My back hurts. Um, anyway, so moving on, uh, I did also pack or mostly pack my hospital bag, which I'm just using um, our diaper bag uh, for both what I need to take to the hospital for me and for baby. So that is mostly packed besides like last minute things. And this past week, I feel like I've been actually having pre-labor contractions. Like, they're no longer Braxton Hicks contractions because I know Braxton Hicks contractions, your belly gets really tight, but you typically don't feel pain with it. <laughs> and I've definitely, it's been hurting this past week. 
and I feel the pressure, my belly's getting tight, but not only that, I feel the pressure down low, excuse my dog barking, um, like, as if he's like right there, ready to start coming out. Um, it's not like anything ready to go to the hospital or anything, but I just noticed the difference of the tightening versus tightening with the pain of a contraction. And two or three nights ago, it was happening like, it happened like five times within an hour, um, but it, it wouldn't last very long. It didn't hurt very much. Like I could still talk through it. I could still walk, but it was uncomfortable. And I was looking it up because I got concerned. My husband, too, he's like, why are you having contractions so often? And you still have, like, five more weeks to go. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been pregnant, so I don't really remember having um, painful contractions five weeks before the babies do. But I'm definitely having them now. And when I looked it up online, it said something about Braxton Hicks contractions which are different from pre-labor contractions. And some women, especially if they've had multiple kids already, can start dilating and even contracting weeks before the due date. So um, I guess technically full term is at least 36 weeks. So if he comes early, yes, that means I've got to go through the whole summer pregnant. <laughs> Alrighty, that is my two week update. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my big humongous mountain of a belly. And then I will see you guys in two weeks for the next update. Alrighty guys, here's my belly from the front. My husband still tells me that I don't really look pregnant from the side or back view. And I actually agree with him. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. And I will see you guys in two weeks with another pregnancy update. Remember to come back this Friday for the baby shower vlog. And the next Friday for the baby shower haul, or the, the gifts haul, whatever you want to call it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.